Hello, today I'm going to test out Malwarebytes Pro. It's up to date. My protection is active. My settings are like default. Um, there we go. Scheduler. I have my scheduler here because it's the pro version. So you can see everything is alright. So I'm going to go here with my Firefox. It's an old version of Firefox, but I don't care. Go to Malware Domain List and malware blacklist and start throwing some URLs at uh, Malwarebytes Pro so yeah we're getting a lot of these crappy ones that don't even work and these are they also our domain list starts being not as good as it was but Still, though, so can get some over. And that one was found. We'll go ahead and quarantine it. Go with the next one. Save the file. Try to run it. Found and quarantined. Try that one. Try to run it. Caught. So, this is a formal but it's pretty good. Uh, Apps a new window. Um, let's try that one. Let's count. Who? Let's go on the malware blacklist. See, oops. See if I can get any newer malware. Uh, yes, in fact, I can't. So let's try that one. And malware by successfully blocked access to the site. So that was blocked. And let's try that one. Save that. It's downloading. A bit big for a piece of malware. And let's try to run it. And okay, just do whatever it's you're supposed to do. Let's just see what this will do. Is it really extracting anything? Let's just say nope. Let's just fake. And it asks me for a pin. Um, I wouldn't classify that as a mask because the only real way would be to for to test some kind of identity protection with that. Anyways, it blocked the website, and and also that just requires you use yourself as a not really candid. Anyway, let's go to that one. Try to run it, and unfortunately, it seems like it's running. If we take a look at our task manager here. Uh, I probably did this twice. It's running right here. It calls itself TeamSpeak. Hmm, sounds more like Latin. But I don't see anything, so let me do some research while it's doing whatever it's doing. Uh, let's see what this is. And that might not be a real TeamSpeak. Oh, well, it's over IP software. Haha, <laughs> and what if it's run uh, in the background or something? Uh, let me see if it's still running here. There it is, I'm just gonna terminate it. Because I have an idea what it's doing. Might be transmitting my voice. And just, yeah. Not gonna go for it. Let's try that one. It's downloading slowly. So either something is using my internet or their, oh, oops, their server is slow. So paste and go. Save the this file. Let's try that one first. Got caught. That one. I want you run you stupid thing. Probably it also got caught. Because you, know, you can't right click need in this one. So Oh. Actually that one did work, but it was caught afterwards. So you can say it can't run no matter what you do. Um, let's
let's try this one. And we'll double click, click run. And it seems like. Okay. Let's remove access. And I'm having a space process like that one running. And that one. So, not too good. Let's try that one. Let's save it. This is fairly new malware, so it's very hard for any anti malware program to detect all of this. Let's move on to malcode. code. Seriously, if you would implement this malware binds to your normal anti malware binds pro alongside it's a lifetime license, it's just it would be pretty good, because it's going pretty good at detecting all of these pieces of malware that are trying to take down the system. And quarantine, put a link in new tab, Firefox says this report tag side, I don't care. It's downloading. Antivirus.exe, probably fake antivirus. Microbyte seems to get a lot of those. So I'll quarantine that. And let's try that one. And save the file. Oops. So far, we s let's see if we got any process running right now. Oh, I don't see anything right now. The these other ones must have been terminated. <laughs> so we got some malware here that was detected and just gotten rid of it. So malware mods is pretty good. Weighty war. Oh, let's save that. Quarantine. Second so task manager, get that thing running. Definitely a piece of malware. It's located in on data local temp. Oh, I think it has created a bunch of files in here. So, not that. That's not good. Let's try that. I'll do two more links. And let's go with that one. So first of all, let's try to run that one. And doesn't that code by malware bytes and tells you this oh oh seven spy software? It's a proper and protected license. <laughs> SVC host at HXE. Other damn funny bastards. Yeah, the model bytes detected it. So, uh, let's close all this. Welcome to. What did I accidentally open? Oh, one of the programs did. And it looks like a calendar. So we'll check in the task manager now. We've got that process running if it's malicious. Um and silver uh like and see. So I'll get him malware bytes now. We're gonna perform a quick scan and I'll be right actually yes. Board it for a moment. I'll try first that flash scan because it's developed now since I'm using the pro version. I just want to see if it detects something and then I'll, if it, I'll just do the quick scan. But it only scans them over in startup objects, so it's very, very fast. 
I uh, just want to save text and think active in memory. And then I'll just do a quick scan to cover like the red stream stuff. The full scan is almost never needed because a quick scan is pretty much enough with malware by tiny malware. So I'll be right back if that flask and should take no more than two minutes. Okay, so Marvel Bytes found four things with its very good uh, flask scan. They were not around, but they are running in memory, so I'm just gonna kill them. Yeah, I don't need, I don't want to rebuild, I'll just go to a quick scan on beer back, see how much that finds. So, beer back. So, the quick scan was also completed, found one more thing with the Z board on the registry. It's all set to run, so they can't run. So, I'll just remove that. And it says that it was quarantined, deleted, successfully restart now. For this one, the previous items I'll be sure they were gotten rid of. And when I'm back, I'm going to scan with Hitman Pro. I'll uh, find any leftovers. And team here finding red kits, so I'll be right back. Oh, hold on here. Control problems. Okay, so him found these two things. Uh, this one was a real super inspo on my 10 files from before. This one is a real verse, but this one comes bundled with the senior download and asks if you want to install it, so I, I said ignore it's not real, it's a false policy. So I don't miss that one. And so I'm gonna see if it's running right now. Nope. So yeah, Mother Bites did actually do pretty good. What? <laughs> anyway. Oh, I can just delete that file myself here. Or, um, Council tends to tell you an ad feed of the amazing Mother Bites. I'm going to, um, damn, I can't find anything that is category absence. I'm gonna go to the folder options, and so I hit file to folder just to locate that file. Mm, yeah, maybe it was in the temp. Oh, we are with that file. Now, let's suppose that you cannot delete this file and it's locked. You go into Malwarebytes. And you take one of its tools, it's called, I'm um, just, uh, didn't need to, so the hidden file folder. It's called File Assassin, it's under uh, more tools, and that tool can kill any file, really, even Windows files, it can protect the protection that they have. So, go there. You click yes and you click OK and it's gone. So Mullerbytes is a pretty solid job. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment and subscribe.